in this short course, we're going to talk about how to build web pages with GitHub pages. Let's talk a little bit about some of the basics before we really get into creating anything. Web pages are created with web languages, and that makes sense, right? So web languages are different types of coding used to do certain things. Your most common one, and one that you're going to see all over the internet, and that you do see all over the internet, is HTML, which is a markup language that basically defines the way the web page will load. It, it, style, it doesn't exactly stylize. It like, identifies the different parts of the page, like a title, or a chunk of text, or a photograph, or stuff like that. HTML is a pretty easy language to learn, and it's definitely a, a good one to play with and try out if you want to learn coding. It's not exactly the same thing as uh, computer science, as programming, as what we mean when we say coding, but it's still a pretty, a pretty decent thing to play with. Now that being said, HTML doesn't look super simple for someone who's brand new, and Markdown is quite a bit easier. They essentially are doing the same thing, they just do them in different ways. Markdown is also a markup language that you use to define the different parts of a document, like the header or paragraphs or pictures or stuff like that. So HTML, if I do like inspect, right, this is HTML. And it's really not too complex once you get used to it, but if you're not used to it, it can be a bit overbearing for some people or um, a bit intimidating. Markdown, on the other hand, looks like this. So here is a document, and here is the markdown for that. So you're just using a few little bits here and there to define what things look like. So this is a pretty simple and easy way to start creating documents and web pages with the web. Now, Markdown itself is not a web language, so even though we're seeing this here create this, behind this is actually still HTML. So you need something like GitHub Pages or some other service or provider to convert that Markdown into HTML for you if you're using Markdown. So this page here with Markdown actually looks like this in HTML. So this is one online editor that you can use for Markdown, but it's not the one that I'm gonna use. I'm showing it right now because when you start a new file, it already has some stuff in there, and I thought it'd be a quicker way to show you an example. The one that we're gonna use is this one here, because it's nice and simple and empty and blank at the start, which I think is a little bit better for new users. So here is the URL for that, but I've also created a tiny URL for it, and that's tinyurl.com slash md edit or md hyphen edit. So markdown hyphen edit, right? If I press enter, you can see it goes here. But you know, if you aren't familiar with my channel and you don't want to follow some random link, you can just type in the full thing if you want your call. All right, so in the next video, we'll actually start working with some basic markdown.